Alright, and here is a tutorial about how to copy UVs uh, if you're doing something like a keyboard or you just duplicated like a screw head or something without um, modifying the UVs first. So, you can see here I'm just doing some crappy keyboard keys. I have one that has like an actual nice map on it, um, and then these which have just been planar mapped aggressively and make me honestly very sad. So, um, if you have a keyboard set up like this, what you can do is basically UV one key. Uh, and then just go into Mesh, uh, Transfer Attributes, and you want to open up this little clipboard. Um, these are the settings that I usually use um, for, for UV sets. Um, you can also do color sets, but I'm like, I don't really need that, so I'm just going to do UVs. Um, and then for sample space, um, this is just how, like, what Maya is using to sort of determine which part of, like, the UV, like, say for this vert, is going to be mapped to this vert. Um, usually, if, a lot of times I'll use component. Um, if that doesn't work, um, I'll just sort of like wander around and try a few other ones. Um, and then usually I don't end up flipping the UVs or doing mirroring or anything like that. Um, and then search method is, this is another one you want to look at for um, testing out, or like if, if, if it doesn't map correctly, um, you would also want to try like twiddling between these two. Um, so anywho, so I'm just going to select this object. So you select the object with the good UVs, then the object with the gross UVs, and then I can just hit apply. Um, and you will notice that now my object with disgusting UVs has more nice UVs. Um, and if I give my computer a sec to get itself together, um, you'll see that if I select both objects, they both have the exact same UVs here. Um, I can also do this, so if I grab this guy here, uh, and I'll select this one, which is the same mesh, I just stretched out one side. Um, so I'm going to just hit apply. Uh, and you can see it's copied the UVs um, exactly over. And that does... Hello. My computer's being so laggy right now. Um, and you can see that it does, it's, again, exact same UVs, um, does cause a bit of stretching. Uh, so what you can do is go in and just grab... This UV show, um, depending on the object you're doing, you can just do an unfold or you could like manually modify. Um, I'm going to try an unfold because I'm curious. Um, and it'll give you this, um, which looks much better. It's just crooked. You'd have to rotate it back into space. Um, the other thing that I do sometimes is I will grab just like grab half the UVs of the object and literally just manually move them over myself. Um, honestly, as far as I'm concerned, there's not really a huge benefit to doing one way or the other. It's just a matter of personal preference, like maybe you get a little more control this way. Um, and it your object will also stay, so I'm, like this, you know, is like exactly 90 degrees. If you want to like Photoshop or something, you could just type in like, oh, spacebar, and not need to worry about rotating it four degrees to match up with your UVs, that kind of thing. Um, so the other thing I would like to do um, is really quick, just test, because I'm actually curious. Um, I have not tried this before. Um, but I want to see what happens if this if this particular object here has maybe a few extra edge loops um, that this key does not have. So I'm just again, throwing some random edge loops in there like a crazy person. Um, and then I'm just going to hide these guys for... I don't really know why my computer is being so horribly laggy. Probably because I have like eight internet tabs open. But anyway, so I'll grab this, then grab this. Um... And then I'm going to try just hitting apply. And clearly Maya's like, I don't understand what to do with that at all. Um, so this might be a case where I would either need to, to swap my different search methods. Um, so if I try closest to normal, clearly that doesn't do anything. Um, so I'll try local space. It also clearly doesn't... Oh, okay. Yeah. So local space seems to work. Um, so that's usually, honestly, like, if you're not entirely sure what these do, um, I just sort of go back and forth and twiddle between these and these. Um, so in this case, I believe what happened is uh, component... Component is going to be, like, by face or by vertex, so it'll, like, match that pretty much as exactly as it can. So if you have the exact same model, um, it's just going to work off that. Or, like, the exact same topology. I mean, it's like this one was stretched and it still worked. Um... If you have extra faces in here, um, when I selected local, I think that's just sort of saying it's like the same same shape object, more or less. Um, but it's searching like based off the uh, 
I guess, area on the mesh, so maybe like distance between this point here and this point here. Um, I could be wrong, but again, sort of a demonstration of like, if it doesn't work, just run around and twiddle with like either these settings or these settings. Because um, usually it does a pretty good job, even if like the shape of the object is kind of off, uh, about actually copying UVs between them. So hopefully that's helpful.